hi beautiful people i made a video stating or listing the number of dishes i learned as an adult and tortilla wraps happen to be part of them i have done this close to six years and i believe i've learned something that i also want to add to the knowledge that has, that is already existing okay so to begin with i have my flour i'm using three cups of flour i always save my flour because of past experiences now add in some baking powder and salt and i grate nutmeg in my tortilla wraps traditionally you don't have that sometimes i even add cinnamon okay then i'm using olive oil two to three tablespoons of that and some lukewarm water you can use um butter if you want that works as well butter works margarine works sunflower oil works okay and then i'll bring it together i usually like my tortilla wraps or dough to be very soft because when you are working with tortilla you'll be flouring your surface okay so um yeah i like it to be soft because the more you add the flour the harder it gets okay so when it is soft like this you can let your dough rest but on several occasions i've done this without necessarily letting my dough rest and it works so if you have something to do you can let it rest for some five minutes while you do that but if not you can just go ahead and work on this so this particular one i let it rest okay and this is how it is looking and this one so i felt like the dough was a bit hard and so when the dough is a bit hard i don't like to use more flour i'd rather use oil to prevent it from sticking from my hand so kindly note if your dough happens to be very soft you can use more flour if it is hard use oil because the more you add it it can become hard so i spread some flour on my surface to ensure that this doesn't stick and then i go in with my rolling pin i roll one side forward backward i flip the other side also roll that forward and backward in doing that you attempt to achieve a round shape okay and you might not get the round shape which is fine but upon doing this over and over again there was one time i was like ah when we are making pie and we want a round shape we use our saucepan lid so why don't i you know make this as thin as possible because sometimes i really want my tortilla wraps to be thin and use my big saucepan lit to get a round shape and i was so happy because yes it worked as you can see it worked and so if you are trying to ch achieve the perfectly round shape which you don't have to because you'll be wrapping this anyway but for the sake of presentation or anything this is one way that you can do it make sure your pan is hot okay you can use an stick i'm using my cast iron because it is wide enough to accommodate the size that i'm I'm going for and once you are done you want to clean your saucepan because the residue of the flour that is left in there can burn the other so once you take one out you clean it now you um toast everyone like i uh, two to three minutes on one side when i start usually the fire is very hot but along the way i reduce it to medium size okay so once you see bubbles forming on top like that you flip it so that the other side will also be done one thing that you have to notice that when you are doing this get your napkin or your paper towels ready okay so that as soon as you take it out it's going right into it and then you'll be putting them on top of each other when you stack them on top of each other and um, what happens is that it's going to soften up further okay the, the heat that they are they are sharing amongst themselves is going to ensure that they soften up further because this has to be soft you are going to wrap it with other things you know go to wrap your veggies and things in it this is the same thing if not similar <laughs> that people use for their shower mess their tacos and all those other things okay so once you know how to do this as you can see very few ingredients one thing that i wanted to mention that i forgot along the way was that when you put your your dough into those small balls please cover them okay if you don't cover them and you are rolling them out it can become very hard and difficult know that practice 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 you get better you try it the first time it doesn't work just Keep trying it, it just gets better with time.
this is very easy to put together and this is one way we enjoyed it there are various ways that you can enjoy this this is some chicken it's boneless chicken that i added my spices and i love some pepper in here added that added my onions because i don't like the fresh taste of onions that it can you know especially if you are going out you don't want that in your mouth I added some bell peppers that they had some you know cheddar um, um cheese i decided to grate that on this is my homemade dressing i put that together and then i wrap it nicely as simple as that our wraps <laughs> is done and there are so many other things that you can do with it you know and um, there are some that I've, I've actually filmed i'll be sharing with you so stay tuned okay so the leftover usually when there's a leftover i just put it in my toaster and then we enjoy it thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed it let me know kindly give me a thumbs up it's a way of supporting me and um, subscribe to my channel follow me on facebook follow me on all my social media platforms and i appreciate you guys so much god bless you all bye